Hey, hey, sweet people. How are you today? Yeah, but then it is raining here. It is a blessing. We have been waiting for the rains for, I think, for a period of time. But God has decided to bless you since the other day, yesterday, today. It is still raining. And I say this is a blessing from above. And I thank God for the rains. And I know you people also, you thank God for the rains if it is raining in your place. Mm -hmm. So today I'm great. I'm well. As you can see, the smile is there as always. And I want to encourage someone, with the people. I want to talk to you about people who are married, couples who don't have kids yet. And we are on their toes every day. That's what we're going to talk about. Yeah, it's me, Helen Tururi, and welcome to my channel. But before we continue, please subscribe, consider subscribing, and please may you touch that like button. And don't forget to comment. Yeah, we have the comment section. You can air your view about what I talk about or about my channel if in case you feel like this is not the right thing that i'm talking about tell me and give me another idea also and encourage me try to be nice please so that i can understand where i'm failing or where i'm doing wrong and change the topics and also come to you clear as you want as my audience mm -hmm. so what do we do wrong and what do we do right to our friends and our sisters and brothers who are not yet blessed with kids and they have stayed for some period of time or some years some even they are going through their almost menopause without kids and still they're a blessing to us i know sometimes as family or as careful the society can be so hard and tough on you things can happen not in your favor sometimes it goes crazy until some people even separate and it was only because of kids but i want to encourage you if you are listening to me and you don't have a kid and you are still waiting for the blessings from the road from the lord or you are still waiting for the fruit of your womb that it is not yet time god has not yet said no mm -mm. you are on the test and the moment you pass the test god is going to shower you with a lot of blessings until you you become like wah i'm a policy or mimi mm. so please be encouraged like things are going to work in your favor by the way god is going to open that we pray and we pray so much i have some friends a lot in fact a lot of friends my friends who are in that state and i feel for you sometimes and the society there are many in the society we really hear your stories we hear how the in-laws react sometimes even your husband turns against you even your family sometimes turns against you but i want you to understand that you are a vessel and god is using you in a different way even if you don't say your own child god is going to use you or god is using you in a different way yeah when god created us he created us with a different purpose so my purpose is not your purpose is not someone's purpose so you have to understand that even if today I don't have a kid, I'm taking care of something else. Maybe I'm taking care of someone's kids or I'm taking care of that church or I'm taking care of my brothers. I'm taking care of someone's soul. Mm. As Christians, we know it's not only that we have physical kids or biological kids. We also have spiritual kids. So if you have a spiritual kid who you are taking care of, I know some will have maybe three, four or more, and you are taking good care of those kids. And that is a blessing. Consider that as a blessing. So don't see like the one who comes from your belly is the only kid that you have to own. Mm -mm. You also own that spiritual kid or that other person that you're taking care of. So feel blessed as we continue. Mm. So things that you should not do to these people who are in their waiting period of having kids. I think 
myself one thing that I don't love asking people is bado, not yet. It feels so bad by the way to that person because she is the one who is waiting and you are the one who is asking that question. You see? So when you ask such a question, this person feels like, oh, so the whole world is waiting for me to give birth. And I'm not even pregnant. I don't even know if I'm going to be pregnant. You see how that feels? To me, I think it feels so bad to that person. Yeah, It feels like you are forcing issues to happen. And God has not yet planned for that. The time is not yet and you are asking. And for some, they have been waiting for so long in their life. And when you ask such a question, they feel like you are bothering because it is their weight. Now you are getting into their shoes. You are feeling their pinch or their pain. And now you are sharing their pain with them. You know, you are doubling the pain to them. So it is, to me, it is not so right to ask such questions. Instead of asking Bado, pray for this person. Be, don't even bother like, you know, he doesn't have or she doesn't have a pain. No. Don't even bother asking, but when you meet, just be jovial, be as normal friends you are. Another thing is to stop gossiping about them because one way or the other, they'll get the message. Is this your sister or your sister-in-law? Or maybe your friend. When you talk to to someone else about her situation that she doesn't have a friend, maybe you know, they, they will get this message from wherever i don't know but eventually they get the message and they feel so betrayed because some of them share to us their pain or their experiences or whatever is going on and when we go and share it out then then they get message you know for me to come to tell you what i go through it means i trust you for once yeah i trust you and when i tell you and you go share it out it means you've broken this trust. Now I won't trust you again. I'll feel betrayed. Yeah. I'll see you down like, oh, she did that. So she's not even my friend. Yeah. Una motskino dunam delete kutoka kwa list ya friends wako. So please let us do the necessary. And then that sad things we should avoid doing a lot of issues. Yeah. But what I want to encourage us to do is to love this community, these people who love them, to encourage them, stop reminding them about about they don't what they don't have, but give them a soul, a salty thing, a tasty thing. When you meet them, go check that coffee while happy, talking about other issues and other things. You don't need to remind them every day. No, talk about other issues. Talk about Mandela Zingine. Sio lazima wajue hawa na mtutu. And to these people, I want to tell you that God has the perfect time for us all. And even if you will never be blessed with that, with that should not bother your soul. Kukosa aman. I know sometimes familiar especially in laws to even online in laws they are very stubborn you can even run mad you can even get out of your head and explore like but you need you need to love them and if you feel like the pressure is too much find a way of easing this pressure maybe you can talk to your spouse that has moved to another place so that the pressure can go down. Or if you understand your spouse, you know there are different husband and wife. If you understand your spouse will not agree with you on that, thicken your skin. Welcome as skill pamba because love is between two. Kama mnapendana, kids will come or they will not come. That is not what we plan. That is God's plan. <coughs> we might plan and say we want to have but we, we won't have because God has not planned for that. But if God planned that one day you will have a kid, you will have. So get encouraged. Stay in prayers and trust God. And don't avoid people because they ask you such questions. That's why I have said, thicken your skin. Eh, be solid. Like You don't need to bother about these people because they don't understand your pain. That's why they go through that. 
they want to channel you that pain always but you need to understand yourself like i don't have here yeah, but i am happy i am peaceful i am loved uh -huh. you have things that people who have kids don't have so this one should not bother you though it bothers yes i understand but you need to be as strong as you can and also to give encouragement to your spouse because sometimes people think like hey now this one will it happen i don't know can i go search somewhere else and look for someone else who will bring me kids but you don't have to be this person who thinks like that god loves you the way you are if god purposes that one day you will have you will have feel encouraged and feel loved by the way mingle with people trust god and talk about your issue to people who you trust seek for medical for medical attention so that you can get maybe a doctor or a gyna who will help you i know some of us are not able to afford gyna but it is if god purposes for that you will get one day you will get kuna madawa kenyeji also people who wengine wanaenda kenyeji and they get helped Maybe i don't have a problem with you going to kenyeji or going to the bora ujue shida yako na usaidike upate baraka wewe pia ufurahie kama wa mama wengine i don't have too much to say today i want you to feel blessed and to feel encouraged and to feel loved and to share love to the world i love you people but before we go please make sure you tap that subscription button to subscribe to ongezeke tuanze kuwa monitored i love you people god bless you